Hey guys, before we start this video, I got some giveaway for you guys, of course. I'm going to be giving away 3 ultimate boxes to 3 winners. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to the channel with post notifications on, leave a like and comment your in-game name below. Also, make sure you join the Discord community, link will be provided in the description, as I always post the giveaway winners there. What's up, gentlemen? We're actually gonna start today's episode with some Colner Slayer. I need myself some Brimstone Keys, they're very good money. So we're gonna try to get some. Brimstone Key number one already. Let's go, get in there. Brimstone Key number two. Let's go, mate. We get a Brimstone Key and on top of that, easy money from the casket. So I really need some money for my kingdom and I was running really low on bolt tracks so I decided to go back to Barrows where I'm gonna get myself some Alkyballs and new upgrades of course. Here we go, the first unique of the episode. Well, not the best, not the worst, I'll take it. Let's go man, that is huge, I'm so happy about this unlock man. Not you again. We are now one step closer to having the full Derox set. Am I even gonna use Goten some days, bro? Yes, the really clue scrolls. I'd love to see that. Hey, that's actually not bad. I'll take it. Well, that's a duplicate. I don't know if I should alt them or just keep them at this point. Hey you there, hold on, hold on a minute. You talking to me little boy? Yeah, 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 I'm talking to you, just give me a minute bro, you won't regret it. Alright, go ahead little Timmy. Did you know that by typing cone cone vote every 12 hours you can get yourself vote points and a vote book that you can sell for money? Really? Show me little boy. So you talk to this guy, you put in your old code, and there you go, you've got yourself vote points in a splendid vote book. Thank you little boy, now fuck off and go back to Barrows. Alright, alright, chill bro, chill. The first actual useful iron piece is now obtained. Let's go! Ah, oh, bro, this is painful to see. I wish it was the skirt. That's going to be my last KC for now. I'm gonna go do something else. I feel like I've got a decent amount of loot from here as well as a decent amount of coins, so I'm good with my kingdom for now. Bro, I haven't collected my daily rewards in 4 days and look at that bro, these rewards are juicy, that is so much food, I really needed that. Yes sir, 99 range at 199 closer to the max cape, let's go. The XP multiplier is very high right now, so I'm gonna bang out another 99, I'm gonna go for fishing cause I'm gonna get supplies while doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, we just got ourselves a very undeserved pet. We got the Heron at 6.8 million fishing XP. I am about one fish away from 99. And there we go, we are now 199 closer to the max cape. Bro, we just got another pet. I was legit like exploring the donator zone. I decided to mine some gem rocks and I got the mining pet at 2.3 mil XP. What an undeserved pet, dude. I just got another pet, dude. What is the drop rate on these? They seem pretty easy to get. And I'm getting 100 gold nuggets by the way, I wanna get myself a gem bag from the model of mine. The third mining pet has been acquired, let's go, I'm starting to think that these are very common. Pet number 4, yep, these are definitely common. There we go, that's 99 mining, unfortunately I'm gonna be there for a little bit longer, I don't quite have 100 nuggets so far, so I'm just gonna keep going until I've got those. Pet number 5 has been acquired, 14.1 mil XP. So you know what, I'm actually gonna take a little break from Modulo Mine. There's a broadcast that says the first person to get Trident or Tent or whatever wins 100 mil and I really need a Trident so I'm gonna try to win that 100 mil for myself. Watch me get Trident on KC number 1 and uh, that was very close, I'm telling you it was close. Let's go bro, Trident from KC number 12, oh my god bro, I'm getting so fucking spooned right now. Well, that was a very fast and easy 100 mil, let's go. Back to Mother Low Mine, we just finished 100 nuggets, I'm gonna get myself this juicy gem bag, 
And there we go, just like that, the gem bag has been acquired. This is gonna be so useful for Slayer. I am now going to kill some Dagonet Kings, hopefully to get some ring upgrades and maybe a Dragon Axe if I'm lucky. Nah, bro, just nah, man. 2kc in and the Supreme already drops us an Archer Ring. Let's go, bro, that is huge. Hopefully I don't die here, though. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, 15 Rex KC in, and we got the Draconic Hatchet drop. Let's go, bro. I'm gonna get myself 99 with cutting really soon. At this point, bro, just call me the most pwned man in the world. I just got the Berserker Ring on KC25, bro. Oh my god, my RNG is on point. Well, that is not a big upgrade, but at least it put my Berserker Ring in a safe spot because this is from Collection Logs. Just gotta love seeing these Elite Clue drops, bro. At this point, something very unfortunate happened. My girlfriend yelled at me because my cat ran away outside, and it's currently super cold where I live. So I had to grab my boots, go outside and go grab my cat before it was too late and I couldn't find her and unfortunately I forgot to teleport away and we ended up dying and losing the Elite Clue and all King, the Mud Battle Staff. Fuck me bro, I did not have my recorder on when I alked the Battle Staff but I'm just showing you guys, it's not in my bank anymore, I did alk it. You guys might call me dumb for that, but I did not know there were daily tasks and I actually haven't done any of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do them because they give really good rewards. Let's go, we got an Ellie from the first chest of this task. There we go, the Barrow's daily task is now completed. But you know what guys, I'm gonna keep going until I get a piece of Barrow's. Well, that was really fast, I got a Barrow's piece the very next chest. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something else now. There we go, we did mine 100 gold ores, that was pretty fast, anyways, that is another task done. And for the final task, we're gonna have to kill Zolra. But there's two concerns there. First, I don't have the supplies for that, so I'm gonna have to craft myself recoils. And then, I've never killed Zolra, this is going to be my first kill count ever, and I swear when I'm telling that, I've never killed Zolra, so the chances are I am going to die here. I am 2kc in. And I'm not gonna lie bro, Zolra is actually way easier than I expected it to be. This should be 5kc. I actually don't use that much supply, I just teleport home and heal myself with the pool every single kills. There we go, the first unique has dropped, I am getting spooned again, 10kc crystal seed. I do believe that's kinda lucky. 25 kills in and we completed the western province hard diaries, let's go. Another crystal seed on KC28, another spoon. I guess now I don't really care if I die because I'm just gonna oak one and still have one left. The third crystal weapon seeds at KC35. I think I am getting extremely lucky here. I believe that they are like one on 150 or something like that. What am I doing? Oh no, that's bad. Oh no, 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 no. Oh fuck bro, that actually happened. Note to myself, do not switch prayer on the blue face. What the fuck bro? I did not even get a single coin from that, what the, what the fuck is this bro? And that is 50 KC completed, we did not get anything else and the crystal seed. I'm gonna take a break from Zolra. I'm actually gonna go get myself a new rune crossbow because I lost mine at the Dagonet Kings. And then I'm gonna do Dragon Slayer 2. There we go, we got the two rune crossbow drops. It only took like 24 KC. It was very fast. The boring part is done, it's now time to kill Vorkath. This should be a piece of cake. There we go, Vorkath is dead, and that is the completion of Dragon Slayer 2. I am going to get myself an Ava, whatever it is, really soon. And we are back at Zolra, I'm probably gonna do 100 kills, and then I'll call this video here. 70 kills completed, still nothing. 80 kills now, still nothing. I actually ran out of sharks, so I had to cook myself some, and I got 99 cooking from that. So I've just done 100 kills, and we did not get anything good. We are not gonna stop there guys, in the next episode I'm gonna do a bunch of Zolra, probably until I get a good unique. Alright guys, it's that time of the vid, we are going to roll the giveaway, good luck to everyone. 
We only have 25 comments on this one. The chances you guys are gonna win is pretty high. And the first winner is Minkin. Congratulations, buddy, you won yourself a $10 bond. Join Alara, looking forward to this series and grinding with you. Thank you, buddy. Unfortunately, there is no IGN, so I will have to reroll you. But welcome to Alara, bro. I really appreciate you joining. The second winner is going to be Deadly PVMer. Congratulations, buddy. You won yourself a $10 bond. Hey, Pengus, my mate. Nice video. Lucky that you kept your RCB. Thank you, mate. That was a very good play from myself. How long did it take to get the levels at the end of the video? Around 50 hours of actual gameplay, I believe. I'm not too sure, but I believe it was around 50. Oh wow, back to back, dude. Nice intro. Thank you, Demon. I actually really appreciate that. And the last winner is EIM Sabis. Congratulations on your $10 bond, mate. Alright guys, that is it for the second episode on Alara. I hope you guys enjoyed it, we got some massive gains, some really good items upgrade, so I'm very happy with the progress in this video, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, goodbye!